Within Nearpod's student PACE lessons, you can now require student responses for a number of Nearpod activities. To enable this feature, go to your advanced settings within your Nearpod account and turn the toggle on. This will require student submissions for all newly launched student PACE lessons. You also have the option to enable or disable the toggle upon launching out a new student PACE code. Let's say I'm a student joining a Nearpod student PACE lesson. With this new feature enabled, if I land on certain Nearpod activities and try to move forward without answering the question, I won't be able to move forward until I submit a response. This applies not only to the poll activity, but to open-ended question activities, draughts, and quizzes as well. As students are navigating through the student pace lesson, if they try to jump forward and skip a required question, such as the open-ended question, they'll receive a pop-up that will tell them that they have to go back and answer all required questions. Once they answer the required question, they can move on to the next slide or activity. Please keep in mind that this new feature will only work for students using the browser. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please visit nearpod.com forward slash help.